If you are afraid to go out to buy a Christmas gift, this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make an edible Christmas gift. I love getting a Christmas present that are edible, especially when they are homemade. This dish is not only delicious, but it is also very cheap and easy to make. I find that the traditional Swedish recipe for this dish is quite simple and really doesn't taste so much. Whether you are sweet, looking for a different flavors in this dish. And for those of you who are from Asia, you're gonna love it because this would really matches your taste. So go to my kitchen and I'll show you how to do that. It's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon and suddenly it started to snow. This is a perfect time to stay indoor to do some cooking or maybe making a gift. In a small saucepan, I add some water, some vinegar, some curry powder and some chili paddy. Traditionally, the sweet just use black pepper but I'm using Sichuan pepper. Some chopped onions and sugar and you want to let this come to a boiling point where the sugar all completely melted. When they do, set it aside and let cool. Make sure your jar is sterilized properly, otherwise the fish will turn bad. You can literally use any kind of small fish. In this case, I'm using this fish called seal. Otherwise, herring will work too. So you want to just remove the backbone of this fin by peeling it off gently. To do the double coating on the fish, you need some eggs, plain flour and bread crumbs. First, dust the fish with the plain flour and then put them into the egg mixture followed by the bread crumbs. I find it easier to do a few at one time. Instead of one by one, you get messy. On a hot pan, add the butter and you notice certain part has bubble and certain part hasn't got any. This proves that the pan temperature is uneven. Make sure your pan is hot enough, otherwise it will get stuck like this. When the fish turn golden brown on both sides, put them onto a paper towel. This will help to absorb and remove excess fat from the fish. When frying fish, I like to open windows and even doors so that the aroma of the fried fish will not trap in the house. Here comes the fun part, assembling of the fish. You want to assemble this fish layer by layers, adding the red onion in between so that you get more flavours from that. I find that it's much easier to use a chopstick while doing this. You're probably wondering, what should I eat with this fish? Don't worry lah, I'll come back to this at the end of the video. Make sure you make enough of the vinegar so it covers the surface of the jar. Now this fish is supposed to be left fermented in this jar for at least 2 weeks before you eat them. And if you already open and start eating it, make sure you try to finish it before 1 week. If you are giving this away as a gift, here is how you can decorate it. I'm using those ornaments that has been hanging around in the house and we don't really need them. So as you can see, decorating a jar need not have to cost a lot. Do you know the total cost of this amazing gift? Here it is. In Sweden, we like to serve this dish on a hot bread as a starter or snacks. And it is even nicer to be served with some fresh boiled potato or potato mousse. Some sweet eat this as a comfort food. For me, this is my comfort food. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious snacks called Peng Kui. This recipe is perfect for those who are sick of Christmas food and want to try making this during the holidays. 
It's eleven day before Christmas, and you see, I'm shaking my leg already, leh. I'm shaking my leg more these days because LG has bought me this amazing crockpot multi cooker. I was so excited and I couldn't wait until Christmas. And I already tested two recipes. Here's the deal. Very good news for those of you who have this cooker. I'll be making more videos using this amazing multi cooker. And if you do not know what this multi cooker will do, this is the video for you. Bear in mind, we bought this cooker ourselves. These videos are not sponsored. I'm really excited, and I hope you feel the same. After using this cooker for two days, I realized there are so many benefits. So make sure you stay tuned. And congratulations, Tan! Thank you for sending me this lovely comment. Starting from this week, I'm going to put up the best comment from my channel at the end of the video. This is so fun, and I look forward for more comment. If you're looking for more Christmas idea, don't forget to check out my Christmas playlist. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in my next. Meantime, please stay safe. Bye.